Hey, Melissa. I'm sorry. I just wanted to let you know. All right. Hey everybody, and welcome to another food challenge video. Today I am in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am at Lou's Sandwiches, about to attempt their giant banh mi challenge. Now I am very excited because this is my first food challenge attempt in the state of Minnesota. So I'm looking for my first win there. I'm also excited because this is my very first time ever trying banh mi. And this is another challenge from the TV show Man Vs. Food. This challenge consists of a two and a half foot long sandwich. It has a protein of your choice, tons of different vegetables, toppings, sauces. Challengers have a short 30 minutes to complete it. If you do, you get the meal for free, a t-shirt, and go up on their wall of fame. Now I'm at the Northeast location where this challenge has not been beaten. As I mentioned, this is a challenge from the TV show Man Vs. Food where Casey Webb was unable to complete the challenge in the 30 minute time limit. I have heard from many people that this is one of the most delicious food challenges there is, so I'm very much looking forward to try this. So let's go inside, check this place out. One, two, two three. three, let's go. Oh my God. That's good. Hey everybody and welcome back to another food challenge video where today I'm trying Bon Me for the first time and attempting my first food challenge in the state of Minnesota. This is a two and a half foot banh mi. Banh mi is a Vietnamese cuisine. It's basically a baguette bread with a thin crisp crust and soft texture. The sandwich was filled with a protein of choice. I went with pork shoulder. It also had green onions, pickled carrots, cucumbers, and cilantro. Five minutes and almost halfway done, it's still delicious. The bread is lined with mayo and liver pate. Now, I was a little concerned eating something that had liver in it, but this sandwich, especially the sauces, were so good. Like, not kidding, and you'll hear me say it during this video, this was the best tasting food challenge I had done to date, and still is to this day, even after many challenges after this one. I loved this challenge. Everything just went so well together. As I mentioned in the intro, I am at the newer of the two locations trying this challenge. I'm not sure how long the location had been open, but the challenge had not been beaten here. 30 minutes is not a lot of time to finish this, especially given how difficult it could be to eat the bread, given the crunch to it. I think there's a lot of healthy vegetables on there.
more. Oh, you heard it. You said you more bread. The staff here was really fun and I appreciate them letting me try the challenge on a busy day. They were really into it and excited to see someone try to win. My family also really enjoyed the bread, as my credit card statement showed after the visit here. Not kidding, the kids loved it too. About 10 minutes in, just a little over a quarter of the sandwich left. Still tastes good. Make sure to check this place out if you're in the area, even if you don't want to try the challenge. He's in test, he wasn't lying when he said this was a good one. What's the biggest sandwich you've ever eaten? Do you think you could take this challenge down? Let me know down in the comments. Casey Webb from Man Vs. Food was unable to beat this challenge. He had just under a quarter section of the sandwich left when the 30 minutes expired. Do you think I had what it took to do what he couldn't and be the first winner at this location? Keep watching to find out. I appreciate everyone watching the videos each week. Don't forget to like and share the video with your friends. And if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that button and the bell icon to be notified of future uploads. Thanks for watching. My job is going to be tomorrow, but it was well worth it. All right, so there you saw it. I finished the Bon Me Challenge at Lou's Sandwiches in Minneapolis, Minnesota. I finished in 15 minutes and 34 seconds. Oh my gosh. That is the best tasting food challenge I've ever done, and I've done many. Just everything blended very well together. The bread was amazing, even though it was very crispy. Just really enjoyed that from start to finish. Did not want it to end. My family even got some of the bread to go. The kids absolutely loved it. Like I said, that was my very first time having banh mi and I just really enjoyed it. Did not expect that to be the best tasting food challenge I've ever done, but it definitely was at this time. For winning, I did get the $30 meal for free. I got a sweet challenge t-shirt and I'll go up on their wall of fame 
and I was the first winner at the Northeast location. If you're in the area, make sure you come check this place out and you're feeling up for it, maybe try the challenge. 30 minutes is not a lot of time to eat it, but even if you don't, you definitely get a very delicious meal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video.